CrowdRise is a fundraising platform, so we provide a tool for individuals, charities, organizations, corporations, where they can very quickly and easily spin up a fundraising page and collect uh, donations for causes they care about. Uh, this year, we decided to do our own Giving Tuesday campaign, but we wanted to do something that was sort of crazy, a uh, little insane, and very big. And what we came up with was this idea of the CrowdRise Giving Tower. The CrowdRise Giving Tower essentially is, from what we can tell, the largest augmented reality experience uh, ever created. The Giving Tower basically was a virtual tower where each brick in this tower was a donation. So if you made a donation on Giving Tuesday, you got a brick in this virtual tower. So think of it like a hologram. Gary from CrowdRise called ER2, and he said he was referred to us um, because of our unique capabilities. Then he presented me with a couple of sketches, a couple of renderings, and as we were talking through, he's really looking for us to give an idea of how he can accomplish these towers for him. We started to understand the needs for these installations. Um, you know, one was that it, it needed to be small and shippable um, since we had locations all over the country. Um, it needed to be assembled quickly um, by a team on the ground. Um, it needed to actually stand under its own weight and potentially in the wind. Um, and it needed to be printed on, on four sides. Um, and, and not just printed, it needed to be printed in a way where it was precise enough for the, the app to be able to recognize the images. At ER2, we've never worked with an application that uses augmented reality. Um, so we thought this was an excellent chance to go ahead and learn and experiment and see exactly what capabilities we can bring to the table. A project of this size, we got three different steps going on at the same time. Start with the fabric. It's a pretty lengthy process. You've got the fabric, the prints, and then you got the framing structures. And then the final step would be to sort of silicone edging into the frames. The in-frame structure of ER2 allows for very user-friendly installations, like snapped together almost like Lincoln Log. So the installations were fabricated, they were shipped out, they arrived on location. Um, our teams at CrowdRise uh, were able to assemble them uh, and and basically share this experience with the world. Charitable organizations were not vetted for the Giving Tower, created by the crowdfunding site CrowdRise, to show the impact of the Giving Tuesday movement. By morning, the Giving Tower had already surpassed the height of the Washington Monument. Growing as we speak, it is surpassing the Eiffel Tower, the goal being to build together the largest virtual tower in the world. So now that this project's completed and uh, standing up in New York City, uh, hundreds of people get to look at it with their application and they get to see that the work that we've done and I'm just proud to say that I contributed my part to this entire project. These towers are in very high profile locations and it was really awesome to go ahead and see the final product that was that was complete. As with any time you're trying to innovate, there's a lot of risk and there's a lot of things that could have gone wrong with this campaign. The app could have not worked. Um, you know, these structures could have fallen apart. Ultimately, there was no room for error here. But without ER2 and a company of their caliber, these installation experiences could have gone awry and been horrible. And ultimately, we were able to show this impact um, in the real world through this representation, which ended up being almost 2,700 feet tall and raising over $2.1 million. Um, and really, you know, it was a combination of talented people um, you know, really focused execution uh, and ultimately, you know, just some really great partnerships.